in my eyes, Sunan. Say well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Cunebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tetman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Cunebert, your guests have arrived. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her. And we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders. Wasted flesh. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The... You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blood. You should have listened, Abel. <laughs> you will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends, this free... Well, that concludes. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fulcay let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did. And with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be. But it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd. My brother. Of course it is. Then come. Let us dive into the Maw of Death. This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. This land of summer, mists and forests, dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England, all of it. And yet it rounds on us at every turn, snarling like a cornered dog. I begin to despair of ever settling here. Perhaps the stars write your path, and you will never have a home here. Do you miss the land of your birth? I have long been away. But it is fiercely beautiful beneath the vanity, arrogance, and pettiness of men. I should like to see it. You could if you wish. My father was an architect, a builder of wonders. The great mosque of Samara, his masterpiece. Another man, who played the Caliphate's game better, took the credit. He was exiled, and died in poverty. Your faith sours. What of loyalty? Shared stories round the hearth. Warm nights, bodies, and the tender love of another. There are some who are worthy. A scant few that tower above the solid mass. Men and women of vision and valor. Sigurd is one such man. He is. Fulke isn't wrong on that score. I fear for him, Basim. I cannot rest until he's safe. Nor will I, my friend. The practice of learning has waned considerably in England since the days of the Romans. What books they still have, they keep locked away in their churches, hidden from the eyes of common folk. Thralls and churls cannot read. What would be the point? They could learn. The church could teach them. So much of human history would be open to them. Aristotle, Pythagoras, Euclid, ancient knowledge lost to all but a few hard-headed men of the cloth. You have studied these works yourself? In my youth, I was consumed with a passion for understanding. I spent many hours a day in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. A seminary? A great library, full of the greatest learning of mankind. For a boy seeking answers, it holds many riches. One day, I was sitting cross-legged, devouring a study by the great astronomer al Khwarizmi. With the swiftness belying his years, the papers were plucked from my grasp by the great man himself. His presence stole my voice. He was kind and open-hearted. He showed me such scientific wonders. What did you learn there? Calendars and calculations placing the sun, moon, and five planets. Equations that crackle and spark. that crackled and sparkled with divine intelligence. I asked the great man, is this what it is to know God? You saw your God's hand in the rooms. I found wisdom, and I have been searching for more ever since. There is great vastness outside ourselves, Eivor. Most only notice a few grains of sand. But some, like Sigurd, I believe, see the endless flow of the hourglass. What you see in Sigurd, is this what Fulke sees as well? I believe it is. We will find no friends in Canterbury. 
So try not to draw attention. If they see me, this will get messy. This place reeks of the piety of priests. This land of summer, mists, and forests, dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England. All of it. And yet it round. This place swarms with Fulke's people. Sigurd will be well guarded. Caution and subtlety should be our path. Show me what lies ahead. Ready? Follow me. Why would Fulke give us her sanctum? She baits us. Cocksure and arrogant. But she cannot see failure in her path. Her fearful wit would say otherwise.
meet your fate! Be gentle on this guy. Whatever we find there, keep your head. You chastise me like a child, Basim. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your brutal end. You have much to do in this life. I know it. More riddles, sly tongue. No riddles. I sense a greatness within you both. Your destiny is not to stay in this godhouse with your blood. If she's still here, I will burn this Christ house to the ground. Get on the other side.
This must be the way to Fulke's sanctum. Then let us... What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? The Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Hmm. By Odin, this is a sick tapestry she wove. For every drop of his blood she spilled, I will take a meat horn more. I may have a fortress in Sussex. The order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of Eden. If he is in Porchester Castle, I have met they will That's him. physically. If I'm we
have Yang He to labor on. And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this... You are a good boy. Where is he? Where is Sigurd? He... he's alive. Dag, not now. Ch Ch uh, I Eivor. I win before... If she got... Stop there, wolf kissed. This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. For many mu- Do and- You could have cut it. Walk away, Dag. I accept- uh, hey. Not need to happen. A cow to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will make it quick. to happen.
any pity, I would not lavish it on this poor fool. He forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded, you gave him. That should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. We should not have come to this, old friend. Take this. Fly to Odin's Hall. Whatever you sought in this life, you will find it in the next. <sighs> Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this, this is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unmanaged. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you. And I will burn the fields. Stretch the rivers of Wessex to find him. That! That is my oath! That is my oath. I will find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl. Is a promise. Dag, you lived as you died, proud and defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend, but I remember them well. became of you, if anything remains of such a strong spirit.
The Nornir told me you'd be here. The cord is forged. Gleipnir, I call it. I'll wager there's a good story behind that wound. A tale for another time. Thank you for this. When you bind the beast, spare no loose ends. The cord will stretch or shrink to fit your needs. How tightly will it hold? The beast may resist. The more you tighten the cord, the stronger it will hold and the greater it will hurt. Till the beast is rooted to the ground. Thank you, Ivaldi. You may go. Back to my forge? Yes, until your debt to me is paid in full. It was the dwarves who made the world a trading post. At least we trade in goods, not people, slave master. I'll be glad to be back on the ground, away from these angry skies. You knew! You're a bomb to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? 
Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it, then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? He did. It is a fine name. Yes. Dweller of the Fence. An apt name for his current fate. Henry! A good word has come! Leave me! I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? And what do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard, without worry. Oh, I smell something sour. Wear the color, or return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki, have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Fair. Be swift, Harvey. In red. The home of the gods turns red.
just arms. An age of war. But where did you hear these words of prophecy? Strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way. There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate or no, you made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend. 
Lord of imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki, but I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. <laughs> Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help you. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None, vision none of living the times or dead to come. now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tight to yourself. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray. Stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will search to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Time to face our end. Fight well with your offhand, as if born to it. Easier than expected. It keeps me alert. You're strong. What's done? I'm not ready to forgive. Will you punish him? Not in this life. If it.
Eivor, you have awakened. With more to share, I hope. I return. And I bow the you. Uh, there was a. I betrayed. How I selfish. I witnessed the final vision from the Nordnir. All of them. How curious. I can make sense. I the Odin, perhaps to do so. I understand. 